troop numbers. So in, at that point after that, we really didn't have effective combat units after that. So essentially it was a 10-year war. The 1960s, the, there was a lot of racial tension at home. The mood in the country you could see changed. You started like you have now, you started getting um, people protesting. We've all read about the Vietnam War in history books, but one filmmaker wants to give you a more in-depth look at the battles through his film, Vietnam Remembered. Larry interviewed the veterans who were there and who are still around to tell their stories. He and one of those veterans, Charlie Harris, joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Patrice. Okay, this is just one in a series because you have been following on the lives of veterans for a long time. For the last five years, Patrice, I've been documenting and recording stories from mainly what's been called America's greatest generation, our mm -hmm. World War II generation. For obvious reasons, they're dying off at over a rate of 1,000 per day, and I made it my mission to find and record these stories. And what's resulted are six now, six films in my documentary series, Lest They Be Forgotten, where I've really focused on the personal side of warfare and not the blood and guts of war. And we're here tonight in Harford County to premiere mm -hmm. my Vietnam documentary. And, and I'm proud as heck as this guy next to me. Charlie Harris is part a representative of the Vietnam veterans that served our country over 40 years ago. And I think they've gotten a bad rap. And I hope tonight's film will help really bring out a lot more of a positive light of who the Vietnam veteran was and is today. Well, I know part of the challenge is not only finding the people, but then to get them to talk once you do. Yeah, most of the combat veterans I've spoken with have never told their stories, and I think I've been very successful in providing a non-threatening environment for them to open up. They know that I care and I want to listen to their stories. Therefore, I've heard things they've never even told their family members. And again, it's just a very personal side of war and what happened to these young men. And Charlie, that was the case uh, with you before you met Larry. You hadn't really talked about your experience. No, I hadn't. Why not? Well, basically because uh, Nobody would be interested. I figured nobody would be interested in hearing the things that I had done when I was over there because it was like a personal thing with me. Uh, you just couldn't believe what you had, what you went through, what you, the things that you had to do. I was an infantryman, mm -hmm. and in the infantry at that time, everything was like on the ground, ground patrol, and by being on the ground control, cutting off all the rice supplies, the food supplies, uh, the things that we'd done. Uh, you can't imagine what an individual would do. In Were there things situation. you just wanted to forget? Uh, I guess you probably could say that, yes. Okay. I just put it in the back of my mind and just went on and tried to get on with life as it was. As it was. But then when Larry came around, why was it important for you to start telling your stories for others to hear? Well, after talking with Larry, uh, I gradually came. The first time I met him, I didn't really tell him basically about the war at all and after I got to know him it kind of gradually come out but the reason why I wanted to tell the story uh, after going through it for so, having it with me so long it was like a relief after right. I began to oh, talk about it it was like a burden off my shoulders well I think it's an amazing project that you've been doing for all this time and I know the veterans thank you and so do all the people who get to hear the story so uh, well, hopefully tonight then come out to the Amos Center at absolutely. Harford Community College all right we're gonna give them that information so that they know exactly where to go Vietnam remembered will be shown at Harford Community College in Bel Air it's happening tonight at 7 p.m. and if you need any more information about it or up other upcoming events you can always log on to foxbaltimore.com and click on news links. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning.